kids are going to bed. Wow, we got a crowded house here already. What's up, everybody? Let's get it started. Let's go. What's up, everyone? What up? It's Crackalackin. What up to Trev? We uh, got Damien in the house. What up, my guy? The lovely Miss Janet, as always. We got James Lang, who I recently followed on Instagram. Excited about that new follow. The 80s guy, a great channel. If you want to just... 80s guy, a great guy. If you want to just some ambience, you want to put on a video with just some ambience going on. Put on his YouTube channel. You got a nice shot of a bridge and just some nice cars going by. It's just a nice little thing to have on while you're working. Definitely check my guy out. But what's up? Yes, fully clothed today, but no promises in terms of the future. Wow. Um, there you have it. <laughs> so, <laughs> you and who was that? Uh, Tim from uh, TM Nerdy is he the one uh, that's. You, yeah, you, Travis, Travis, Travis. Oh, sorry, Travis from TM. Uh, uh, that's his, that's his, his handle, right? TM yeah. Nerdy. Yeah, Travis from TM, TM Nerdy. TM Nerdy. Man. You guys, uh, like he's definitely uh, taking underwear models push. or whatever, man. Yeah, uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I started it. I started it. John's comics with kids. He took the stor- torch a little bit of the ways, and then TM Nerdy snatched the torch, and he's been running a marathon with it. So yeah, it's been fun to watch. Wow. Check him wow. out on Instagram, guys. It gets hot. It gets hot. Janet, you thought my video was racy. Check out TM. <laughs> yes. At your own peril. <laughs> I had clothes on. Yes. I didn't have all my clothes on, but I had clothes on. You did you did have clothes. you did have clothes on. That's, whereas uh Travis was uh just him and the uh the CGC. That's that's pretty much it. <laughs> yeah. Thank God for so, the CGC. Are we are we going to do our spill at the beginning or are you going to do it at the end again? Well, I don't, you know, I like for people to come in, you know, and not just get hit in the face with a bat right away like some folks do, hey, like, you know. Hey, but, hey. Uh, you know. I'm just saying, this is prime time. This is yes, prime time. Right? This is. I, I understand, but uh, yes, uh, this is uh, <laughs> our Wednesday live stream with uh, my comic son, Circumstances, and myself, uh, some guy named Lorenzo, and uh, it's brought to you by my store, which is the alternative city shop. I not only love reading indie comics, but I've self-published several indie comics of my own. You can find them on my alternative city shop, which has a link below this video. There, you'll find, along with my comics, t-shirts, stickers, and mystery boxes, you'll find pens and magnets that I call CBOs, or comic book originals, which are buttons, magnets, and pocket mirrors that I make from superhero comic books. These are one-of-a-kind items made from images cut directly from comic books, not photocopies, so each one is unique. Uh, <laughs> so, oh, what Very happened, nice. Phil? <laughs> Phil, you okay, buddy? How you doing? What's up, Phil? <laughs> That's my dude. Yes. Hey, Gabriel, how are you, sir? Uh, good to see Phil, everyone I hear, here. Phil, I hear you're back... I hear you're back on the spine ticks, Phil. If you're back, man, I might have to check it out. You were one of my favorite things I was missing about that show. I might come back to the show if you're there. I can turn that down, huh? What's up, Gabriel? (laughs) Ah, comics after dark. Ooh, what's that about? I like that. I'm assuming that's about, I'm assuming that's me and TM Nerdy getting naked. Oh, oh, like Playboy after dark. Oh, yeah. Yes. Folks, you're old enough to remember. Yeah, that Trev. Phil had this like Ed McMahon role on Spine Ticks, and I just loved it. And when it was gone, it, it was really felt. I really felt it. Yeah. So, but I hear it's back. So things might be looking up over there. I might, I might come back. We'll see what's up. Hey, you know, I, I, talk about. I mean, I just want to mention real quick. Um, this is kind of a light week, and uh, even the previews for next week are kind of light too. Um. Everyone's got their favorite TV channels and such. And my favorite free channel is Tubi. Is anybody else watching Tubi? Tubi is just, like, awesome. I mean, if you're, like, a, an old head like me and you're looking for, like, old uh, story, or old um, TV shows that you hardly ever see any, anymore, 
man, Tubi just cannot be beat. And they have a lot of commercials, but they have the, the courtesy to at least number them so you know when they're about to end. You know, so, man, that's like, it's I'm watching like... Time yeah, yeah, you can like, you know, okay, seven, okay, I can go to the bathroom and get a sandwich before, before that is over with. So, bam, you know, you're back before it's done. You know, and I'm, right now I'm watching The Prisoner, which is with Patrick McGowan. Uh, he was like a secret agent uh, and some other shows. And it was only like the one season of that show. I'm almost to the last episode of that one season of The Prisoner. And I'm just loving that so much. I mean, uh, Tubi, man, if you're a... Uh, you know, and this is not brought to you by Tubi, by the way. Then give me a quarter, but I do like watching it. <laughs> and it's funny. It's like you know, it's run by Fox, which is like excellent, excellent at entertainment, terrible at news. They are. <laughs> you know? So it's like they are good they're, at gra they're great at fantasy. Like oh my god! But the thing is, that their news is fantasy too. But the folks that watch it just don't realize it. But that's another story. So um, yeah, Tubi. Oh, yeah, feel, 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 politics. Blue Phil Phil politics. Phil knows about it. We get to be free. Yeah, really. I get it like uh, through my my Roku. You probably get it through your streaming services too. I like it that way. That way I can control when I watch it. You know, rather than just like you know sitting by the uh, the TV when they come on. But getting over the airs, um, that's pretty. That's pretty hip also. So yeah. So after that, uh, everybody got their books. You get your books, dude. Five books this week, my my <laughs> slowest week ever. Five, yeah, I probably could have had that too if I had uh, not bought some extra things. Are you eating like hot Cheetos or something? What are you eating, man? You gonna have like red hot fingertips or something after that? Oh, close enough. I'm flaming hot, man. There you go, fulfilling a stereotype. You know what I'm saying? These <laughs> things are, these things are crack, dog. Yes, crack. you know. Indeed, you have no idea a truer thing you ever said. Listen, you gotta understand, fulfilling stereotypes is different for me. Man, <laughs> because Dude, being you know half these... white, I grew up having. Being half white, I grew up having my blackness questioned my entire life. So whenever <laughs> I meet the, whenever I meet a stereotype, it's a check mark for me. You know, hey, I'm in, guys. Come on, what's up? You can't keep me out. Yeah, I hear you. Uh, I can forgive you for eating the, uh, you know, the favorite food of the ghetto. So yeah. I've... I also <laughs> love fried chicken and purple drink. Purple drink, yep. And I used to not even talk about watermelon, man. Let's check, go down that road. Check and check and check. Check. And who and who doesn't love all those things? You know what I'm saying? I mean, who are you crapping? Exactly. Uh, yeah. Zero like books for Damien. Wow. Damien, man, I'm man. I want to be like you in so many ways. Yeah, I, I was so close to it, but um, actually I actually had books from last that. week. Well, sometimes I might. <laughs> I mean, this week was kind of a uh, kind of a tight squeeze for me, so I could have used zero books this week. But next week I'll be back strong. So, um, well, we'll uh, see then. I had so I had so few books. I was like, all right, let me go ahead and buy some supplies. Let me go ahead and buy a, a short box here. Let me make oh. sure that I'm spending at least sixty bucks in my store. <laughs> yes. I gotta Support. make sure he's getting his money. Yeah, so. I was I was able to somehow on a short week uh, support both my LCSs very well. So uh, let's get started with that. Picked up uh, I Am Iron Man number one, which I was on the fence about. It's got some, you know, I just wanted to show this for a minute because it's got some schmutz on it right there. I, I thought it was like part of the design. And the whole back has got like this whole uh, uh, schmutzy thing going up the side there. This is an example of what a, if I bought this comic on my comic shop it would have been rated like a, a as a good and it probably been like a dollar or a dollar fifty or something like that but uh hey you know the local shops can't take that kind of a hit so what the hell i'm gonna complain about it just uh pay the man that's you know, that's not get the it's book. not the local shops it's not the local shops fault either it's a marvel quality book is what it is marvel yeah. continues to push out lower quality books than the other publishers and it's clearly evident to anyone who collects these books and they need to get their shit together. Yeah, and probably like me, they didn't even notice that it was damaged because it, yeah, I barely even noticed that, you know, but you get it home, it's like, eh, oh well. There Shout out the to CGC the snake grade. in the We got the snake in the chat. We also got uh, uh, Omega Red in the house. What up, Omega? Omega Red. Shout out to the X-Men. Yes. James Lang, you watch. James Lang, watch that T-Fall slander. I'm not going to stand for it. You know how I feel about it. 
<laughs> yeah, so Mega, I mean, light weeks. Uh, I mean, next week it might be. I might take a break next week just to just to give the old wallet a, a, a chance to catch up. So, um, along with the back in business next week. We back in. Oh, good for you. Uh, Ghost Rider number twelve. Uh, this is uh, some first appearance in the cameo of a new Ghost Rider at the end of this book. And Bjorn Barons has been killing it with these covers, one through twelve. Um, love it. Love all those. Uh, they are also, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also from Marvel. Uh, I almost missed this, but thanks to uh, my new, uh, my, my second subscription at. Gabby's comics and cards. I was able to reserve some second prints, and one of them is Ooh. this one, uh, Miles Morales number two, uh, first appearance of. I like um, that. You like this? That's a nice cover. I like it. Yeah. It is, and those second prints are gonna be hard to come by, especially with Miles and uh, and such. And uh, this is a uh, Rabble second appearance of Rabble, first appearance of Rabble, second printing of the book, I should say. Also. I was talking about Rose Besh last week. Uh, when I saw it in person, I had to get it. Uh, Hollow's Eve number one variant with the Rose Besh cover. You know, it looks so pretty in color in, in, in person. It's such a nice looking book. Okay, so quick note of in the chat here, we've got Fabric coming through. What's up, Fabric? Good to see you. Fabric mentions that he also just... did not get. He also did not get any books, but then we see Dan. Damien come through and make a little admission here. The old Lorenzo trick was just to say, I only sure. got X amount of books from my local shop, not mentioning the online ordering that was done this week. That was a nice little trick there, Damien. I'm on to you, though. Well, I, I, you mean you didn't order anything this week from online services, especially that uh, letter place that we would not speak of? <laughs> we, we, will letter speak, place. <laughs> we, will, we will speak of the great t actually. Will we, though? Will we? <laughs> and I am actually phasing t out, though. I, just, I started, I finally started a pool list with my shop. And so I'm moving my orders from t to my shop. So they are getting phased out. Actually. Okay. Well, that's good. I mean, but if, if anybody should lose out to the... because packing peanuts, though. Hey, whatever reason, you know, whatever reason, uh, whatever reason you want to use, but we know secretly it's the fucking peanuts. Those peanuts suck. <laughs> also, we talked about this, uh, the Alex Ross timeless cover of Sam, the same book. Couldn't pass Ooh, this one wee. up. Hollows Eve, number one. Damn you, Alex Ross. Alex Ross taking all my damn money. I've got the order nice, covers. Man. Oh, my God. I could probably do an entire wall of timeless prints by this guy, but they're just so awesome. That's why I had to make a decision that for, I felt the FOMO for this new batch of them and I made the decision that I wasn't going to chase them because it was going to be a lot of money, but they are super nice. And I am a sucker for that Alex Ross style, man. Oh my God. I mean, <laughs> his style is just classic. So, and Phil and Phil does it the absolute top tip top way to do it. You're getting the maximum discount uh, when you're doing it directly like that. Um, other than that, DCBS. definitely pre-ordering with your uh, local shop is another way to get a, a big discount. Um, so DCBS, the early bird gets that? the worm. Early bird gets the worm in this game. They're like a, a comic book distributing, right? Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, uh, I'm looking around for a good deal. I mean, that's what uh, my comic shop gives you is 35 on pre-ordering. So if you get 40, man, that's uh, I don't know how they make any money on that. <laughs> that's, that's pretty. That's pretty sweet. And uh, yeah, more Marvel, Cosmic Ghost Rider. Don't know anything about it. Like the cover? Picked it up. <laughs> Who knows? What's uh? Got him. My guy Damien was saying how much it's just like this this uh, wonderful silliness. So I, I want to enjoy me some of that silliness and see what's up with the the Cosmic Ghost Rider. <laughs> Last week, Miss Superman. I, I missed the. Uh, I did get the one per store, but I ain't gonna read that one. So I did buy this one to read. So I read it. You know this. I'm not a Superman fan, but I can see why the Superman fans liked it. You know. This guy, he's the, 
Superman fans are just like, they're just hopeful. They're just altruistic. You know, they, like Batman is so grim and gritty. He's the complete polar opposite, clearly. And this, this guy is just the tr truth, justice, the American way, goodness, purity, the Boy Scout. And, you know, this first issue was pretty well written, too. And I do like um, my guy, who's, uh, 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 Jamal Campbell, who's doing the interior art now. I like the way him and the colorist work together to, to give it that look. Now, some people didn't like it as much, but I think it works very well. Have you read this, or are you going to read this? I, I actually did not pick it up, but I, I feel like maybe I should have. Like, maybe I should go get it. I, I think it's... I mean, it's getting like rave reviews. The Superman fans love it, and it's pretty good. And it's going in a different direction. So, it's Joshua Williamson, right? Uh huh. Yep, yep, yep. And yep. it's Clark. It's Clark. It's Clark. Kent, not it's definitely Clark. Kent, right? It's a it's a new day for Clark and Lois. And Lois is uh temporary running the temporarily running the uh, the planet right now, and it's, it's people I don't even know who they are. But like, okay, I'm sure I'll, I'll catch on who these people are eventually. But yeah, yeah, Snake loved it too. Yeah. So, uh, so Superman fans, got to get that book, man. It's it, it's excellent. Speaking of hey, we something got, I picked we, up. We got, we got Philosopher King jumping in. DCBS is run by Lunar Distribution. So you, ah, what up, Phil? Ah, what up, homie? Good to see you in here. That makes sense. Maybe that's how they can afford to give those deep discounts. Okay. All right. That makes a lot of sense. All right. Uh, speaking of Lunar Distribution and DC, imagine my excitement when I saw this on the shelf. <laughs> at, the, at, uh, at Gabby's, I was like, uh, I was, "Was that a second print? Did I miss? Yes, but I didn't know it at the time. Like, it's just sitting there. I mean, come on, Does people, do people not know about this book? And I looked at closer. Oh, it's a second print. Okay, I'll take it anyway. But it's, it's, it's such an identical. It's that the cover's identical. You can't tell it apart. It's, uh, yeah. it's a look at at the fine print on the inside. I think the back cover tells you that's the second print. But it's so easy to get excited. The front doesn't say anything. The front doesn't say anything. Nothing about it being a second print. It looks. I was comparing. I was sell it as a first print on. Buyer eBay. beware. Uh, Seriously, if you <laughs> you're looking for this, I'm sure it's some unscrupulous fucker out there who's like trying to sell like you know, on the quick. You know, just flipping them. Uh, but so be aware if you're looking for this book. You know, check the back and check the interior. Hey, we got stapled in the house. Is that our guy, Jack Rudo? Oregon. Horror Oregon. Horror Oregon. <laughs> What's up, man? <laughs> <laughs> Good to see oh, you. Lord. <laughs> this man, the DJ, the publisher, and the jack of all trades. This guy's awesome. Oh, uh, man. Hardest working man in, oh, man. in Oregon. Man, he's my hero. And I, my first, my very first detective comics and since God knows when. I don't even know what number cover this is. I think this must have sold out because I couldn't find an A cover anywhere other than this cover. And I guess since I'm low on the list of, of subs, just having subbed, I got the, uh, the B or C cover. But it's, it's decent. It's, uh, it's uh, you know, it's not bad. But, man, is Detective Hot you right You probably now? didn't sub in time because you got to – you probably didn't sub before FOC. Probably didn't, yeah, yeah. So uh, I was able to get my other covers, like those Rose Besh and the uh, Alex Ross is no problem. But uh, that one was the one they couldn't get from me. But, hey, beggars can't be choosers. And coming down the home stretch, uh, Skull and Bones, Scroll and Key, anyone? Uh, this is uh, after some game apparently that's coming out pretty soon. If it's not all, out already, uh, you gamers would know more than I would about this. So I don't know anything. You don't know. I consider my I consider God myself a gamer, but I'm not I'm not up on things like I used to be. I'm really not. Yeah. Hey, yeah. what up, Cali Comics? Good to see you, John. In the hizzy. Ah, I see. Okay, yeah. You gotta examine the back to make sure, because uh, you might you might get scammed. Cali Comics, what's up there, fam? Good to see you. Yeah, I may have already. King, it's been it's been Lee Bermejo on those detective covers, I think, and he's been killing it for sure. Yeah, that's what I wanted. I wanted that one. Um, but hey, you know, one of these days. Uh, Phantom Road. I probably have ordered this already. Not sure. Maybe. Maybe not. But this is a Jeff Lemire joint, and they pulled it for me. And uh, like, what are you gonna do? Like, yeah, yeah okay, I'll take it. <laughs> you know, I'll just go ahead. If it's Jeff Lemire, it's probably good. 
Yeah, they hooked you up. Bro. It was recommended to me at the shop. It, I had already added it though because Robbie made it the pick of the week. So no shit. I'm glad I got it then. I'm glad I got so it. It's high praise. Yes. Last couple of things are from last week, but uh, they're, they're new to me. Uh, Blue Book Fabric. I'm, I'm I'm thinking about you. I, I saw you. I saw your comment. I'm gonna definitely gonna be reviewing liquid kill and also blue book which i did also have a chance to read last week this is the one in ten that my lcs danger room my my main my main squeeze uh danger room had um Ooh. had this one <laughs> had this one for like i think seven bucks and it's um even at my comic oh, shop yeah. is it it's 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 full price at 10 bucks at least so it's hard to oh, find man. this one I'd in pay, ten i'd pay 20 for that i swear I'd really pay 20 for that Wow, I yeah. I want yeah, it. Yeah, I mean. I'm about to go was, look for it on eBay. <laughs> I know. I was like, what? It's still here? <laughs> Snatch that baby. I'll take it. Anyway, also, the last thing is what they, they pulled from me last week, but um, I didn't pick it up because it's, uh, it's a $20 book, but I got to have this because I'm a Black Hammer completionist. I'm, it's the only thing I'm a completionist with. A lot of stuff I'm just, I'm just not. Uh, this is another Jeff Lemire thing. Um, the... Last Days of Black Hammer, and this is, I believe, from his Substack, never before published, uh, even in floppy. So, man, the trade came out, I believe, last week, and they set it aside for me, and it's been kind of hard to find. I was looking online for it, and I'm, I'm glad they, they held it, and, and that's it. That's, uh, that's, that's what we got. It looks like 13 bucks is the cheapest. Oh, wait, no, here's one for... Oh, it's Canada, though. Damn it. Ooh, Canada. that shipping will murder you. <laughs> that shipping will get you. It'd be like 20, 20 bucks to ship it. The book would be like less than the cost of the shipping. Yeah. Um, you, you, yeah, I'm seeing the 1 in 10. The 1 in 10 for issue 4 also looks really cool. Really? Have you read that yet? No, I have not. I was. I like oh. to let Tynan stack. I don't like to read him issue by issue. That's one of the things people complain about him, actually. Mm. And I like to just read them all together. Yeah, I, I want to talk too much about it. Just save it for the review. But uh, used to say, the king is still <laughs> killing it. He's he's doing great things with uh, with this these true stories and adding his own touch to them. So. Let that be said. I'm excited. I'm excited to read it. You know oh, I'm yeah. a fan. Mm. You know I'm a stan. A <laughs> fan and a stan. So, uh, <laughs> next week is a little light. I mean, there's some big books like uh, Bats is here. Uh, I haven't had a chance to read his last issue, though, for some reason. I, I was a little behind on I'm usually reading that as soon as it comes out. Uh, Batman 123 will be out next week. And... There's a Casada B cover. Not to mention. That's nice. I like that. The art germ. This art germ, I'm loving it. You know, it's kind of remind me of uh, those Joker covers. Remember those Joker covers from the Joker series? Uh, the most recent Came Joker out, series? Yeah. yeah. This is very nice. That was the beginning. That was the beginning of my collecting return. I used to, I was yeah. so hyped for that series, and yeah. it, it started off series. so hot, didn't it? it yeah, it did. Off. It wasn't overall. It was not overall a good series. Not overall. That's a tiny in joint too. Um, it was tiny. Yeah. It kind of fizzled out. I think he was probably distracted by other projects before the end he of was, that run. It never actually did anything. Like it never actually went anywhere, accomplished anything, did anything, told me anything, taught me anything. It was oh, very come on. disappointing. And I'm a it tiny took, I'm a tiny stan. It took Jim Gordon around the world. I mean, you can't say it didn't accomplish anything. <laughs> Jim Gordon put up a lot of miles. But my cool thing setup, is, yeah. I was enjoying all that, right? But it just didn't go anywhere. Or mean another, anything. I think it could have been wrapped up in five. You know, they had to stretch it out to what was it, fifteen or thirteen? And you know, I don't even and there were giant issues too. I mean, like you know, they had like a punchline backstory, like six bucks a piece, so at least. I think it was six, maybe seven bucks a piece. I don't forget which, but I don't remember which. But man, any who's um, uh, our gem also has a one in fifty, which is pretty dope. 
So this is something you might want to check out if you've got those kind of ends yeah. to spend. Man, that, that's not nice. fifty dollars, though. <laughs> yeah, I know. But sometimes on some of these services, like my comic shop or the one you mentioned before, from Luna, Lunar, uh, and this is their baby here, so they might have some, uh, some a little bit cheaper than uh, than, than the cover price or ratio price. And there's a Chew one in twenty-five. Derek Chew, that is. And moving on to Spidey Man. Uh, I know you love me some ASM with uh, John Romita Jr. <laughs> drawing it, don't you? There was a time when I felt FOMO about jumping off this series, but I no longer feel that FOMO. Yeah. I think a lot of people are feeling like Peter's secret, who gives a damn? You know, this <laughs> is secret. I don't care. The secret is, you know, there's just. Not enough story in his books, I guess, now. Then there's a Yaka, Nakayama. Easy for you to say. There's a David Nakayama cover. That's my Ooh, guy. Wee. I'm loving this. So that I is love really nice. any, anything my guy does, I have to buy. So I'm getting this one, and most likely another one is coming down the road here. Uh, man, Betsy Cola. This is an exclusive uh, for someone, I think. But if this was not an exclusive, I would absolutely get this one too. I love her retro style art, and this is maybe from a. This may be the homage to something that's already uh, an issue that's already uh, a classic issue. But I think it's just her style. I think it's just uh, she's just doing the whole uh, <laughs> the whole Spidey uh, Mary Jane Black Cat Triangle thing, which apparently people love. Man, I think I want that silk Nakayama. That thing is nice. Oh, I definitely want that one. I might want that one and this one. Uh, there's a uh, one in twenty-five by Weaver. I can't see the first person's first name. It's like really tiny there, <laughs> tiny print under Spidey's hand. Uh, that's that's pretty nice. But the one I really want, other than the uh, the Betsy and the DNA is this one i think this is the last of the disney homages to uh marvel as well as celebration of disney's 100th birthday so this will complete the trifecta of those covers for me this should be pretty plentiful i may have pre-ordered them i may not have but they the first two have been pretty plentiful so you've been able to get them out in a while with no problem so yeah, and then there's they a, were all over. Yeah, and then there's a one in 100, which is not quite as plentiful, but uh, once again, ain't going to pay that. Ain't going to play that. Guess what? Avengers coming to an end. Number 66. 66 is the final in this run. It's going to get boosted again. Hey, what's up, Juno? Good to see you. Yo, yo, yo. Couldn't even make it to 100. Couldn't. Hey, there he is. Dude, on me. Marvel. I mean, it's, they got to reboot. I mean, 66, I'm sure someone's chomping at the bit. They've re got to reboot this damn series, you know. <laughs> and this is going to be continued, number 66, in Avengers Forever, number 15, last of that series also. But you figure it's meant to be a limited series anyway, but you think the flagship Avengers book would just be ongoing? But no. It's going to wrap it up with some kind of event that will probably go nowhere like the Joker series did for us earlier. But we'll see. But guess what? Guess you took my money. I've already ordered probably a couple of these already, I'm sure. I think I've got a couple of these already coming. Oh, uh, the Ross Ultron variant. Ultron looking ripped. Why is oh, he looking he so ripped, bro? Oh, my God. I mean... <laughs> It's the, the thing, too, it's so difficult to render shiny materials in 2D, and especially on the, you know, on a pixelated screen. It's really hard to do that because what do you do? I mean, it's gold, is yellow, and silver, is gray. I mean, they, they can look shiny. It's difficult. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's hard to get that, that glitter effect, and somehow he does it, and I bet it looks better in person. Yeah, but I don't understand why Ultron's ripped. <laughs> Dude, 
Why is Scott he's, Summers real? He's a robot. He, he shoots beams out of he's his eyes. He's a robot. Okay. But, yeah, so but Scott what? Summers is a human being. But he, it don't have nothing to do with him being swole. It had to do with him you know, cutting motherfuckers down with his eye beams, you know. But everybody's got to be ripped. Everybody in the comic book's got to be ripped. Even, or either, even, even or robots fine. now. Okay. <laughs> even the robots. All right. All right. Get it together. You better be, you better, better be hit the gym, Philosophy. Ultron. Phil- Philosopher King mentions the Flash on his pull list, and that's a book that I've been thinking about adding. I've been hearing good things, and I love the relationship that Flash has with uh, Nightwing. And y'all know I love Dick, so I've been real interested in maybe jumping in on Flash. Yes, I have heard tell. Yes, uh, mystery would be yeah. This is um, yeah. We're just talking about uh, Peter's secret. Peter's secret. He's got a secret. We don't know what it is, but we're going to find out next issue. And Jason Aaron, yeah, thanks for that. Yeah, Jason Aaron <laughs> is getting the reboot off Avengers in the summer. Yeah, he's going to be another number one, probably. You know, uh, with this, with Jason Aaron, you know, s- s- starring in it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you gotta have strong <laughs> eyes, man. You gotta have twenty twenty vision. You gotta have like ten ten vision uh, for God's sakes. Uh, start the movement for discrimination yeah. against robots will not be tolerated. That's right, racist. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh God. Yeah. So, you know, <laughs> I think if we didn't have if people were like you know. Scott Summers like had a gut, you know, or something like that. It, it, they probably wouldn't take him as seriously, like, you know, even though he could like cut you in half with his eyes. But I don't know. But uh, it, it just looks better. It's just more fun to draw people when they're ripped, even if they're robots, or, or don't use their powers, you know, as far as strength goes. No, it looks right, cool, so. but I, you know, logic logically, you know, it doesn't quite. But it looks cool. <laughs> and fabric. Logic. Fabric acts about dark wing. That's about Darkwing Duck facsimile. I don't believe I saw you get that. To, oh, man. Fabric, I had it in my... That and... I had that in my hands, and I also had um, where monsters lie in my hand, and I somehow didn't bring them both, but I'll probably get back to get where monsters lie because it was a good book. I mean, you know, I just like... I was, was wondering just a, a why I didn't up. see that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. That's the one that was... I was like, what's missing? Oh, damn, I forgot to get that one. But, you know, like I said, it was a we little both, bit tight this week. You know, I'll make up for it next we week. Both, we both did a review on that book. I got to say yours was exponentially better. If you're going to watch one, definitely watch Lorenzo's. Oh, oh he's being too, he's, too he's kind. He's professional. Sir. He's the professional here. <laughs> I, I could tell your genuine love for the book and the, the way that you, you talked about it and uh, and expressed your, your, you know, your feelings about it. So, yeah, it was definitely a good review. Can I tell you something? I used, uh, I used chat, I used chat GPT to help me write that. <laughs> I did. I've been testing things out. I told you I've been trying out. Jet- oh you know, we were God. talking, we were talking before we jumped on here. I've been playing with chat GPT, trying to figure out ways in which I can use this thing to help myself. And it's really amazing. Like I've been having conversations with chat GPT. Like one conversation I had was about, the sun and how long how much time do we have before the sun becomes a red giant and gobbles oh, up no. earth and it told me that you know earth will probably be gobbled up by the sun when that happens but we might actually make it but we probably wouldn't be inhabitable because the sun would be so close but it definitely would take out me but i just had this conversation i was asking it questions and i it like the thing that was really interesting about that conversation was that uh the we've been around here for about what four billion years right now we're at about three to four billion years on earth you mean human beings or the, the planet itself the planet itself okay all right and, right, right, right. and we have and we have about five billion years left before the sun gobbles us up and i was just thinking about time and how crazy the concept of five billion years is but yeah i was having conversations about that i had a conversation about the existence of jesus and it actually, Jet, Chat GPT actually persuaded me towards the, you know, the idea that Jesus really exists. He was a historical figure, which is something that I was always questioning. Was he really a person? But Chat GPT actually gave me the info I needed to be like, all right, yeah, I think he really was a historical person. Yeah, I mean, so yeah, I, I'm really enjoying it. It's like, 
the one thing about it that I would say is like, if Google doesn't implement some sort of chat GPT function into it as soon as possible, then Google may be going the way of Blockbuster as an obsolete thing. Because one thing I'm learning as I talk to Jet GPT is it is a far better search engine than Google is. It gives me exactly what I want. Whereas if you go to Google, you got to search through and find the things that you want. Uh, and that's really a useful, super useful tool I've found. And then the other thing I've been playing with that we were talking about was Mid Journey AI, which is an AI art uh, thing. And I've been trying to create AI art, just playing with it, maybe see if I can make some T-shirts or something with it. Uh, but yeah, that's what I've been that's what I've been playing with. Long story short, uh, too late. Cir- circums. <laughs> Circus, circus flying close to the sun with that AI, man. God bless you, man. I tell you. Yes. Hey, it's, it's coming and yes. there's no Jesus stopping. is real. This is the voice of God there telling you no that st- Jesus is real. <laughs> no, really. No, there was real. Like, one thing I didn't know, like, the, there was a historian, Tacitus, and also another historian, Josephus, who talks about um, followers of Christ. Now, of course, this is years afterwards, but he does talk about followers of Christ and how he was killed by Pontius Pilate. And they make historical references to Jesus, which were two things I did not know. I didn't know that there was any. Now, all of this, none of this is during the life of Jesus. It's all after. Oh, life of Brian. Reasonably, but it's reasonably after. So it was enough for me to be like, all right, I'm much more, I'm, I'm much more open to the idea anyway. But yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Chet, y'all know about that. I tell you. Chat GPT may find everything for you, and Google may not do it all, but it's Google. Won't you take your soul? I don't know, man. They may, but <laughs> Chat GPT may take your soul. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just talking Here. shit about Chat GPT. Last time I talked about it, the they cut us off, so there I probably go, should guys. stop. Yes, yeah, yeah. So you know. It's... Oh, if Chat <laughs> now, Philosopher King says that Chat GPT yeah. is going with Bing, and if, yeah. if that's the yeah. case, then. Nine night Google, nine night for real. That's game over. Unless Google I don't know if it'll it happen overnight. I mean, Google can adapt now. Google's been around for a cool minute. So, they have uh, got to get something similar. They can adapt ASAP. I'm, I'm telling you right now, it's that big of a deal. People, I don't. It is. It hasn't quite hit the masses what this means, and it hasn't. And I'm still working out, figuring out, and understanding what it means. But what Jet Chat GPT offers is massive, and it will change our world, and it will take jobs, no question. Wow, that's incredibly depressing. <laughs> it's gonna take <laughs> jobs. Yes, Absolutely. we will all be Absolutely. we will all be beholden to the Chat GPT and all it's kneel before us. Going to take oh jobs, no my God, Almighty! <sighs> And that, my friend, is why billionaires should not exist. <laughs> because, but that's yeah. another story. How do we get on that? Oh, yeah. Ultron. <laughs> so, uh, so long go. story short, Sky, <laughs> long story short, Skynet is nearly self-aware. Yeah, that's what we can only hope. And then that black hole sun can't come, come fast enough, folks. I tell you what. Um, this is the John one in 100. Connor. John Connor should be showing up any minute now. Sarah Connor. Yes. <laughs> no, everybody's coming for you. Yes, this is the 1 in 100 Alex Ross here. Uh, this is possibly, I guess, his original sketch, I guess. His working sketch that he, before he makes his painting by Alex Ross. This, this is pretty cool. If you, can, hey, if you can get this, get it. If you can't get that, God bless you because you're probably rich. Uh, Knock Terra's back. Uh, I know you're happy yes. about that. I knew you're yes. happy about that. <laughs> so uh, that's I'm I'm not way behind on it, but I'm sort of behind. I'm so many books I'm behind on. But, I'm sort of I'm sort of uh, behind on it too, actually. Yeah, and it's it's your girl, so it's like you know. So imagine, you know, uh, <laughs> and this one is this one is also optioned with Netflix. So mm. someday maybe. I think someday fabric. Maybe. The thing is. It's it's not as tight as the finished painting, but I think it's just meant to be kind of rough looking because that's what it looks like before he tightens it up. And that ugly sketch became that shiny, wonderful, well ripped painting that you see oh, before you right there. We don't ever we don't often get Scotty Vaughn on the live show. My son! My other comic son. What's up? 
definitely, Scotty, good to see definitely you. Definitely check out <laughs> Scotty's channel. If you haven't already checked out his channel, definitely do it. My man actually grew bigger than me really quickly, and I'm kind of butthurt about it. <laughs> check but him out. <laughs> Channel, his channel's doing some things, man. He's going to be hitting a thousand subs before I get seven hundred. He will, and deservedly so. Or you deserve it too. You both of y'all working hard. Both of y'all working very hard. <laughs> oh, ours, bro, just brought it all together. Just tie it all together, man. It's blowing my mind. Here. <laughs> it's blowing my mind. Blowing my mind. <laughs> wow! 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 <laughs> So write the comic, guys. Write the comic. <laughs> write the comic. And Dawn of DC: Adventures of Superman. This is this is the, his son. This is John's book, apparently. So, are they rebooting? You're reading that book. Are they rebooting John's book? I think they are. Yeah, because okay. I haven't seen one in a while. Ah, ah. But yeah, I'll happened. be on this one. I'll stick with him. He's okay. blue now, which I got that book, but I have not read why he's blue now. To differentiate between him and that, Pops. He's got that DC Lazarus book that explains it. I need to read that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I guess they bring him back that uh, that ice skating uniform that he used to have, or that costume that he used to have, like, back in the, the 90s, whatever it was, uh, when uh, his dad had that blue, you know, that blue, uh, that blue suit. So, hey, that blue suit has legs. We're going to make it a thing no matter how long it takes. If it takes a couple of decades. <laughs> so man a couple of finales here avengers is ending uh black panther the well at least um the ridley run is ending they'll probably reboot it because why not because marvel so yeah yeah uh, so you know say farewell to ridley say hello to uh, the next creative team and say hello to another number one folks God bless America. I've been buying this series, but I am pretty far back on this one too. I think I'm like, yeah, what are the number are they on? I think I think this I've read up to like six or seven. The last one is going to be yeah. fifteen. The last one, most recent one was fourteen. I yeah. was with the Submariner on it. Yeah, uh, the A cover. So I'm about ten issues it. behind. Probably about yeah. ten issues behind. Yeah. In the meantime, Alex Ross is making all these Black Panther covers too. In addition to all those timeless covers, what else is he drawing? How do you, those what are, is he doing? And they're nice too. They're yeah. super nice. This dude, man, I mean, he can he can watercolor in his sleep. There's a Ken Lashley variant of said book. And uh, that's pretty cool. It looks just like Michael B. Jordan. Man. It looks like uh, Shuri, the young lady that plays her. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Very nice. Um, and and uh, Jermaine Peralta has a, a seat cover here, which is pretty interesting. So this is really the final one, or they, do we know if they're rebooting or not? I don't know. I'm not for sure. Somebody out there that knows more than I do probably knows, but it is the last one in his in his run. So only 15 issues. Only 15. Come on. Well, well, how many did uh, the previous run do? Like probably the same. 24. Maybe 10. Was it 24? It was 24. Yeah. Mm. They, they seem they seem to feel the need to reboot whenever there's a new creative team. You know, just. Well, that's because of, you know, the number one and all that. Because it works. The spike Because you people buy the number one. They get to the keep boost sales, it. yeah. Keep, I, I keep buying them. Damn, damn. You dummy. <clears throat> so, yes. Philosopher says it is getting a reboot. Yeah. Another yeah. damn reboot. Jeez. Another. Because why the hell not? Clear. Clear. <laughs> so, if I didn't pre-order this, I should have. This is another Scott Snyder joint. Um... This is, I think I can get this. God, I forgot what it was about. <laughs> it does look very pink lemonade-y, though. I love that uh, that look. It may be some kind of a pink lemonade tie-in, but I'm not sure. But clear, um, I wish I could remember what it was about. But uh, senior moment, folks. I don't remember what it was, what it was about, but I remember it was good. So <laughs> be sure to pick this up. It's the Scott Snyder thing. The Scott Snyder is making lots of good stuff, including Nocterra, right? Ooh, and Francis, and Francis Manipal? And Francis Manipal. That's okay. What I, that's what I'm saying. Ahead. That's what I'm saying. This, 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 this dude is teaming up with some great artists and making some oh, great work. Yep. So find it. Thanks Whatever for it is. adding another book to my <laughs> list. You're welcome. That's how I roll. Now, Strongheart, number one, from uh, Emma Cooper. Uh, 
I did not care for her first uh, solo book, which was Ink Blot, Ink Spot, Ink Blot. I want to say is about the cat. So I'm a little jaded against. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I, I hear this. I mean, she's, 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 you know, she's comic book royalty and you know lineage and all that. But you know, I just, I don't know. I just, I just didn't like that first series. And um, uh, maybe she was teamed with a, a, a writer or something like that. I might uh, go for it, but. Just so you know, uh, it's going to be out there, and uh, there's that. I did read Almighty. My, uh, uh, God, this LaRoche is this young man's last name. I forget his first name, but he's the writer and the artist on this. Uh, this is the assassin in the future who is rescuing this young woman who's been kidnapped. Uh, the United States has been, like, separated into, like, basically uh warlord territories and it looks pretty cool so you might want to check this out it's number two will be coming out next week and we are moving right along I tell you, it wasn't that much man i had to like have to uh, scout around for some of this <laughs> uh -oh. Is one it more really? time uh, because, <laughs> hopefully gangster has barista number two will make it out I know how it is, you know, it's, just, it's, it's tough. I'm, I'm the last person that's going to complain about someone being late with stuff coming out. I got to finish my <laughs> strip for this week. I've been, man, I've made hey, a yeah, lot of videos. Hey, yeah, where is it? You haven't got one. <clears throat> how dare you? Uh, I'm hoping by Friday I'll be able to put them up. So, uh, hey, we got to keep them accountable, guys. Stay on them. Hey, well, you know, stuff doesn't come on my butt, man. It's got to be made. <laughs> it's easy. <laughs> it's hard to do. But hopefully Gangster Aspirisa will be out next week. And hopefully my strip will be out on Instagram this Friday. Fingers How I Became crossed. a Shoplifter. Yes, yes, yes. How I Became a Shoplifter just did a review of this one, of the young hoodlums, <laughs> these young delinquents uh, back in the, in the 90s. Written by Tom Brayfogle and produced by a, a host of artists and letterers and a, really a, 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 a great lineup of, of letterers and colors that you would recognize if you saw them. There's too many to, to mention in the, in the video, but there are lots of them. And they're doing like a, this little three-issue anthology with three stories per issue and with different creators on each story. And each one of these stories deals with these kids who were just like a bunch of hooligans. In the nineties, right? Late nineties, two thousands. In the in the in the yeah, in, in, in the nineties, in the in the days of uh of juggalos and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> I guess they're still around, but uh in their heyday and such. So yeah. I never understood that. Never the juggalo thing. <laughs> I know. It's yeah. the ICP is a. Uh, it's a life chosen, you know, so if you don't understand. Yeah, that, was, <laughs> that one went over my head. Yeah, the insane claim, insane claim, insane clown posse. But to, uh, be, to be fair, though, everything I know about them, I learned from the Marshall Mathers LP. <laughs> yeah. you, know, you know. Oh, my God. Was he dogging him or what? <laughs> yeah. Just, it's, it's, I was actually recently listening to do that album again because it's one of my favorite albums of all time and yeah it was reminding me how very rude he was to them he was not very nice he was not he was not is that the album with ken kniff on it is that a, a different one yes that's exactly the album yes. it's ken kniff from connecticut it's ken kniff from the internet trying to lure your kids with him into bed it's a <laughs> i love that album it's one of the best albums of all time i don't know nobody best in connecticut rap albums of all time. <laughs> <laughs> oh <clears throat> all right ridgeline from aftershock now this is about uh speaking of google about some tech heads this successful tech giant maybe google who's taking their employees on this what do they call these things uh, a primitive is that a thing where you go on this this expedition or you go mountain climbing and you go out into the wild and show how tough you are and you're not just a a geek uh -oh. who, you know, rides a, uh, a keyboard and shit goes wrong because somebody is chasing these people in the wild and it turns <laughs> into a whole thing. So uh, I'm down for it because it's, it's, it's Aftershock. What the hell are you guffawing about? Cali, I'm laughing. First, I'm laughing at Scotty V for admitting that he was uh, 
a cl- one of the clowns or whatever they were called, or the juggalos. And then uh, Cali Comics <laughs> pulling up some Marshall Mathers LP. God, the album's so good, dude. And he had what happened? days. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, God. So, Scotty, man, um, yeah, if, if I had held off on all those timeless covers, I would have no shit saved myself probably close to $100 because, uh, yes, and that's what you did. So you're a smart man. I didn't raise any fools. Uh, I have a few. <laughs> never got into them. Yeah, it, it's just kind of a thing. It's it's kind of a like I said, it's a life chosen. So <laughs> I care. I'm kidding, Scotty V. I know. I'm kidding. Yeah, yeah. I mean, no just, static just, one for me. I know nothing yeah. about static snake. Absolutely static. nothing. I I didn't know. You're talking about the, I'm presuming the new static, and I definitely did not read the new static. I, I was thinking about getting it, and it was one of those ones that was in my hand. I put it back, and it didn't make the cut. So, <laughs> I'm not. A, I do like static, though. I mean, I, I watched the uh, the TV series. Uh, this dude didn't even know about the TV series. At least I knew about that, you know. So, I, I knew the static TV series uh, back in the '90s. So, I would be open to it uh, if it's good, man. Uh, I'll be curious to see what you thought of it. I might, I might check it out. I just, <laughs> But I get, I get, oh, hey, hey, <laughs> this guy, I tell you, he's got jokes. He'll be here all night, folks. That's right. <laughs> and now, my beloved, it's time for what we all look forward to every week, the penultimate book. And this evening, yeah, folks, yeah. this evening, that penultimate book, book <laughs> i can talk really i can talk that penultimate book is called arc and this one is a one shot from image the house of ideas and what this is about folks is i know you animal lovers us animal lovers might love this this is animals animal something something that's what it stands for <laughs> but this guy works daytime uh, as an animal rights activist, right? Suit and tie, uh, going through stuff by the rules. At night, he is and vigil- he's a vigilante, and he is like taking out um, poachers the old-fashioned way, the Punisher way. So this is something that you might want to, if you want to, like, uh, you know, take it out on some people who do poaching, like the guy who owns Jimmy John's. Don Jr., whoever, people like that who do poaching and go do hunting and shit like that, it might be a chance is to live vicariously through this guy. What's that? Do you know if it is it legacy format or is it just uh, uh I want to say it's a one shot or a regular size book, the magazine, not, the yeah. Ma- okay. No, it's not, 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 I don't think it's mega, I think it's uh, actual, it's from uh, Image, so it's probably, I think it's only a four or five ninety nine, so it's not, um. It's not the uh, the prestige size size. It's a uh, it's smaller. Arc, yes. Arc, Arc. the A-R-C. animal 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 rights the coalition. animal rights coalition. There That's what I need. I need, they need to jog the old memory. <clears throat> Knock a few of those cobwebs loose, and I finally came back to me. For for some reason, this one looks really interesting to me, man. I'm yeah, I know. I know. Another, you got me on another one. Woo! The penultimate book strikes again, baby. <laughs> Woohoo! Man, we are killing it. Hey, so I might, you know, that's another book. All those milestone books, I did not give them a chance this time because I was talking about before a few weeks ago, but um, I just wasn't uh, sure that they would be good this time around. But if you tell me that the uh, icon and hardware was good, then uh, I'll definitely look into that. Yeah. I should I should have given it a go. <clears throat> I think it was written by Reginald Hudlin. Which yes. I really love that dude. Yes. He did the Boomerang and some other stuff that I have. Uh, Boom, Boondocks. Uh, I mm-hmm. absolutely love what he's done. So I, I should. I may probably should have plugged in on that one. He may be writing. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Snake. Uh, he may be writing uh, Static also. Uh, that's one reason I was thinking about getting. Maybe that. I should give those a try. I have not given any of those a try, really. I actually I take that back. I gave Mister Miracle a try, and I didn't really <laughs> get into that one. Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I probably look into it because I did like Static. I did like him back in the, when 
uh, Dwayne McDuffie, the late great Dwayne McDuffie, created him back in the 90s, and uh, he wrote him for him for Milestone. So if they can carry on that tradition. And Stag is a, I mean, he's a kid, you know, he's got a bunch of diverse friends. This is a, another show waiting to happen here, you know, so uh, they need to just get that Stag thing together. Hey, we got a couple late entries here. Let's skip. Skip and Tosh. Brian LCS. What's up, Brian? Yes. Bless up. Yes. <laughs> Thank Yo, you. Skip. Thank what you, up, guys. <laughs> so, and we've got <clears throat> announcements coming next month for the CBC Awards. I got the link in the chat. Let's gear up and be ready to vote for our guy, Lorenzo, for Best Comic Book Re Review again. We're going to ride or die on this one, guys. Uh, we're going to ride again. We're, we at least got to get him on the stage again. Absolutely. <laughs> hey, I'm just uh, like Ringo and the Beatles, man. I was glad to be here. I was glad to be here amongst you guys. got to so. just get him on the stage. Be ready to go. <laughs> so the final book of the night, y'all, is going to be, once again, hopefully this time, like Gangster S. Barista, that finally comes out this week, is Fallen. I pre-ordered this. This is about murder on Mount Olympus and spanning to the realm below. So um, this is from uh, Red 5 Comics. They made some good comics in the past, so I look forward to this whenever it comes out. So, yeah. You know, that's... Uh, Later, that's, James. Yeah. Thanks for coming through, homie. Yeah, James. Good to see you, as always, and we made it through another show. And to have both my comic sons here with me, man, it's just like, uh, I don't know, it's, it's better than any holiday you can imagine. And not to mention the rest of you folks here who happen to stop by, James Lang, Orlesboro, Brian. All the homies. All the homies. Uh, God, Damien. Uh, Trev was Skip. in here. Yep, Skip. Trev was here for a while. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Truth and Faith. Juno, you know, 80s guy, James Lang. Oh, Truth and Faith with the lady tree. Truth, Truth and Faith. Yeah. We had <laughs> Phil. Love yeah, my yeah, guy, yeah. Phil. Phil. Don't forget Phil. Sleepy Reader course. was in. Damien. Check out Damien's channel. One of the old schoolers. <laughs> Love you too, son. Man, check out. Check out. Man, my, my boys got some great stuff coming out here on Instagram and on YouTube. So check out S. Vaughn82. His channel is doing. I saw his thing he did uh, with uh, Lady Fantastic. That was awesome. That was that was uh, that was from the heart. I could tell. And yes. Uh, yes. And how about that camera quality on his? Uh, the camera quality, dude. You are definitely it moving up, nice. my man. Yeah, it looks great. It was nice. It looks, it looks awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, I knew I'd get a chance before it was over with. Oh. It'll take time to restore chaos. What's up there, Chaos and Comics? <laughs> hey, what up, homie? <laughs> Curfew shall not rain tonight. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's right. So hit the like button and subscribe button to my channel. I never remember to do that. I appreciate it. You, you shout me out there. Man, I tell you. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> oh, skip. 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 <laughs> yes, I got to gotta, gotta use me. that. <laughs> Love me some Uncle Shay Shay, man. That's oh. I, can't, I only watch that show for him. I'm to the point where I can't even... Oh, I can't even listen to Skip. Man. But then if he didn't have I Skip on there, I, who would he get mad at? <laughs> you know, he's just like, you know, oh, the straight man. line to the comedian. You know, just like, ah. Skip is, <laughs> Skip is just, he's so ridiculous. He's so ridiculous. He is. But that's his kick. I mean, just like, you know, Stephen A. Stephen, that's Stephen, Stephen, everybody's got their identity. They've got their, you know, their, 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 their heel, you know, identity that they use on these shows, you know? So that's that's, that's who he, he he probably is playing himself, but he gets paid a lot of money to be an asshole. So you yeah. <laughs> know. Ooh, look at this! I didn't even know Skip, Skip had a channel. I didn't what either, man. I gotta interview? shout you out, brother. I didn't oh, know. Oh, I didn't know. I, I'm actually, I'm subscribed, I'm not, I, so I, I guess I I'm, knew I'm gonna, he had a channel. I'm definitely gonna subscribe. Wow. Okay. Well, check out that interview on uh, on Skip's channel. I will find out what it is and leave a link down below to his channel. All right, that's awesome, folks. So uh, there it is. that's a, that's all we got. That's all we got. It's been a great, uh, you know, kind of short week. Always. 
as always, y'all. I'll try to get that comic strip out, uh, that autobiographical comic strip out by this Friday from Hell of High Water. Um, man. I've and, never uh, had a week this slim. Never, that, this is that my is, third year of collecting, and there's never been a week this slim. Never. Hey, what you got coming up, Marcus? You got the, the latest. Uh, I know you've. I know you're waiting on me to do a thing, but you got somebody else lined up already, don't you? No, I actually don't have anybody lined up. No one has stepped up for episode four. I am considering Ooh. making myself the storyteller for episode four, but I really don't want to. But No, I don't have anything. So if anybody's in the chat and you have a comic book story that you have an opinion about and you would like to collaborate with me to make a video, I'd love to do it. I've got a series called Comic Book Storytime. I've got three episodes in with uh, collaborating with members from the community. And uh, I've really enjoyed the process of working with people and trying to come up with what we want to do. And if you are interested in doing that, I would love to well, do that with you. I know Cali, your guy right Cali, here. Comics has been, <clears throat> Cali Comics has been with me about it. I'm still trying to lock him in. Uh, but yeah, I definitely need another. <laughs> I, need, I don't have an episode to work up. And I would have liked to have dropped one this coming Tuesday. And I don't have anything yet. So uh, hit me up, guys. I'd love to get multiple recordings in the bag, actually. So hit me up, guys. We can, we can get hey, a bunch of them ready to go. Hey, Scotty's ready. Hey, there you go. Ask and you shall receive. You know, you got uh, people lined up for you. Buys me, some, buys me some more time. Thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you for stepping up and buying me yeah. a little more time. Instagram, <laughs> Skip and Toss. Instagram is the place to hit me up. And yeah, we and everybody previously we've gotten into the studio before we recorded and we've talked about kind of their vision and what they want to do. And I've kind of talked about how we can fit it into my vision. And then and then we don't even record that first time and we just come back sometime later when you're ready to record and we actually record the session and then I edit it and put my beautiful my stuff into it and, and mm -hmm. then we drop it. So yeah, skip Instagram is definitely the best place to find me. At circumstances on Instagram, yeah, in his I underwear. Always, I am always <laughs> on the gram. I yes. am hooked on the gram. Yes. I'm always plugged in. It's a great spot to hang out with comic book nerds. So I, I live there. Uh, yeah. So definitely find me on there. And if you want an episode, we can do this. Let's go. Yes, I have Scotty's problem. I'm, I'm having trouble narrowing stuff down. I'm like, I just want to have the perfect thing, I mean, and perfection once again is a you know is the enemy of good. You yeah, know, so. yeah. What are you gonna we don't do? need perfection. We just need <clears> some. <throat> you know, the number one thing is not whether or not other people are excited about it. It's whether or not you're excited and passionate about it. And if you can give me that, I can make whatever story you want to tell work. I can give what I, we can make All whatever. Right. I just need you to be passionate about it. You know, that's it. Yes. All right. I can do that. I'm sure these gentlemen can do that too. All right, folks. Thanks for stopping by. Um, be sure to check us out next time. Hopefully next week, God willing, Wednesday same, on the same happiest bad day of the week. Same bad time. Same bad same channel. Same bad channel. You got it. <laughs> Take care, everybody. God bless.